Welcome to another video from the DJ podcast in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series. In this video, we're going to be talking about playlists, the different kinds of playlists inside of Tractor Pro 2, and how to use all of them. To create a playlist, you can simply right click and select Create Playlist. You can call it whatever you want. Click Enter. There you can see we now have a new playlist on the left side. If we want to add tracks to our playlist, we can simply go back to our collection, grab a couple of tracks, and drag and drop them into our playlist. Let's say this newly created playlist is a playlist that we like to put a lot of tracks in and out of. If you want, you can put this playlist into your favorites bar. To do that, simply drag and drop the playlist from the left to one of the slots here labeled not assigned on the top. Now we can easily get to our playlist by clicking on it in this top playlist favorites bar. If instead of making playlists inside of Tractor, you want to make them inside of iTunes, you can simply click the plus button next to iTunes in the sidebar here, and you'll see all of your iTunes playlists inside of Tractor Pro 2's browser. All right, now let's talk about the two special kind of playlists that we have inside of Tractor Pro. The first is called the preparation playlist. In this, you can put the tracks that you might want to play next, and you'll see that they have little diamond icons next to them in the track collection. This is really handy if you know that there are a few tracks that you want to play during your mix, but you're not quite sure when you want to play them. With the preparation playlist, you can add a couple different tracks by dragging and dropping, and then rearrange the tracks in the order that you want to play them. The second type of special playlist we have is the history playlist. This is where you can find all of the tracks that you've played during your mix. And you can see a lot of special information, like when you started playing that track, how long you played it for, and on which deck you played that track. The history playlist also makes it really easy to export your track list for a particular mix. You can actually export any of your playlists. And to do that, you simply right click on a playlist and click save as web page. You'll see a box that comes up here and you can select which kinds of information you want in the HTML file that it creates. Select the title of the, the file, the destination, and then click OK. This will save an HTML page with all of the list options below that you can easily copy and paste your track list out of. That's it for this video on using playlists inside of Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. For more videos, check out thedjpodcast.com.